key to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. I'll free that wolf, and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement, before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Shin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is... Oh, more wolves! Another new friend! Eivor! Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home?
I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. If you've a moment to spare... Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belonged to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. There's a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. 
Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? Wallace? The white elk! The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. Our guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Petra, where are you? Petra, hello. Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? Show me what lies ahead. Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! Ah, the elk. You all know where she has gone. I am... Um... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. Maybe you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Jotunheim, here in Midgarden. Return to Jotunheim! Go now or die here! <laughs> What have you done with Petra? What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. People, I am right here. There was no need to question Mr. Harry and Ferber. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now, come I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, oh, look there! 
This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I hmm? think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. Oh no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it! Just like your Sunin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go! Wallace should be over there! Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one! I believe so! We should ask the rabbits! They will know something! Of course! The rabbits! This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirt. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wolf? Oh, this one doesn't speak rabbit. Petra! Hurry! <laughs> Nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat, we've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, it slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission.
Tove. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tove, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. This was the fate woven for me. So I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. And know that you're valued. You have taught Toby well. Through her you live on. When I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of gods. I am sorry I was not here to see you off, old friend. When I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of gods. Sunen, guide me. I have the plan you ask for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Eivor. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly.
brought some new things in. What have you got for me today? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. I'll see you later, friend. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Bye, Eivor. What do you see? I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire at its peak. You don't like it? It's not that. It's just not terribly Roman. It needs more. More relics, more statuary, more room. If you happen to find any distinctly Roman artifacts on your travels, bring them by. We can make something of this mess yet. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, God! No, no, no. Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me, my beloved. A perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Lost, I heard. Maximus was holed up in and around London. Holding my beloved captive. Leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him. Then recover my statue. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful. And here is something for you. Bring me more like this. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Let me see what you have. Wonderful. And here is something for you. There should be more like this out there. I'm off. Be well, friend. Vale, Eivor.
Ivor. I need your eyes, my friend. If I find one crack, that statue is as fragile as the rest of my collection and costs more than the hovel you call a home. Just a clay man with his cock out, you nutter. No sabicio. I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have, Octavian of London. I've a guess who your friend is, and no, Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert, a name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. I'll give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is... Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the Legionnaire. <laughs> I'll have to take this back to Osbert. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you. I have to go. See you soon. Dai dulci fruimini! Survey the area soon enough. 